Sorry, Gutierrez! Oh my gosh! Alam mo, it, buong batch namin crush talaga siya eh. Oo, nung studyante kami talaga, inaabangan namin siya araw-araw. At ngayon, I'm so happy. Kapamilya siya. Totoo yan. Oh, Alam mo, ako, sorry, dyan muna. Picture muna yes, dyan. Sorry, dyan. Sa center lang ang Belmelezao. Yes. Alam mo, ang daming mga kapamilya natin ang hindi tumigil sa online world waiting for this project ni Richard of the Iron Heart. And finally, nangyayari na siya, BJ Ayi. Yes! And we can't wait to meet yung character ni Richard Gutierrez later. At makikita natin yan sa trailer na ipapalabas natin for the first time. Sorry, dito muna picture ulit. Dito naman sa The Iron Heart. Pose for some pictures first. Gabi, no? Preparation-wise, um, yun nga, it took us months before filming. So, I had really uh, a lot of time to prepare physically, mentally. And entering a new show like this, alam ko magiging physically demanding siya and mentally demanding for me. So, I always try to enter a show like this um, kumbaga fully prepared. Naka-mindset ako, prepared yung katawan ko, prepared yung uta ko. And I was able to do that with this show kasi nga nabigyan ako ng oras. At uh, yun, sa mga action scenes, syempre alam ko magiging madugo. So physically, I had to prepare. And going through the script, many revisions and all that, I'm thankful na nandiyan yung mga directors ko. Um, si Derek Richard helped a lot sa pagbuo uh, ng character at sila Miss Des na dyan sa likod ko uh, tumutulong sa akin and we trust each other. I trust my directors uh, kung paano buuin yung character ni Apollo. Um, so yun, it was really a process and di ko siya magagawa mag-isa. You know, I had the whole team behind me. Yun. Thank you. Um... Siguro how to adapt to ano, um, yung bilis ng pag-shoot ng production. Um, kasi alam naman natin lahat na sa probinsya na wala kaming script doon. And um, mabilisan yung galawan doon. Actually, it's it's a good test for, for actors to be part of something like that. Kasi uh, matitest talaga yung capabilities mo as an artist, yung patience mo, yung everything, you know. Um, so, yun, I guess yung, yung being able to adapt to different situations in terms of production, in terms of filming, being able to work with different kinds of styles. As an actor, malaking growth sa akin yun. Uh, masasabi ko na nakapag-adapt ako sa ibang classic style of filmmaking or, or shooting and but dito kasi sa Iron Heart it's a totally different approach um, you know my, my scripts come in advance you know and we have you know two directors we have writers on the set so talagang magkaiba yung approach niya and yun nga in terms of action naman I really made sure also na iba yung makikita ng audience dito alam natin na seven years yung probinsyano on, on TV with their own action style and we wanted to bring something new or bring something different, offer something new to our audience with the Iron Heart. Thank you, sir. Nasa harap si Reggie Bunong. At parang ang gusto niya sabihin, ang taray, may interpreter. <laughs> Sabi dito eh, re-post to me. Pero <laughs> Yes, sige, go Richard. Um, Yes, coming from ang probinsyano, um, and then nung ginagawa namin itong Iron Heart, we really wanted to shift away from probinsyano, especially yung character ko. Well, malayo naman talaga kasi sa probinsyano, naging uh, parang villain ako dun. And yung probinsyano kasi very parang classic approach nila sa action. And most of their action scenes are um, gunfights. And hindi ko masyado napakita rin yung capabilities ko sa action sa probinsyano. Um, so we wanted to showcase everything here sa The Iron Heart. Um, we wanted more hand-to-hand -hand combat, more modern approach in terms of cinematography. And you know, I have the best team behind me, headed by 
uh, Derek Lester, our action director, and his group 360. And we really wanted to show something different in terms of action. And yun nga, mara maraming matagal na ako hindi napapanood na gumawa ng action na ganito. And we wanted to to showcase that again sa ating audience. Um, kung bakit ako tinawag na Ironheart, uh, mapapanood niyan simula sa November 14. Yeah. <laughs>